too many papers up front. <laughs> Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is good. It is he that hath made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and not in the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise. Be thankful unto them, unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and the truth endureth to all generations. the little clicker. Pardon me as I get on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> there are too many papers up here. We are going to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. We already had our song, Praise Him, Praise Him. I hope it puts you into the spirit. But I wanted us to think about this. When it's everything is going well, it's easy to praise the Lord. But when it's not, sometimes we forget. It's hard. It's hard to make a joyful noise when you're hurting and suffering. It's easy when you have a good day, but sometimes we have bad days. We might have a bad week. Or in the case of the last couple of years, we could have a bad couple of years. But we should always make a joyful noise to the Lord. Making a joyful noise makes us closer to the Lord, and it changes our heart. So today, we're going to talk about reasons why we should make a joyful noise to the Lord. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. God just didn't create the sun and the moon. I mean, that's remarkable in and of itself. But look at the beauty God created for us. Not only the sun, moon, and stars, he gave us beautiful oceans. Now we have beautiful mountains, even volcanoes. But he made beautiful, majestic mountains, the plains covered with sunflowers, all types of trees for us, trees that make wood, Tree, of course, trees make wood, but trees that can make our houses, our furniture, give us food, give us shade. He gave us beautiful flowers. Some of them grow on trees. From the largest whale in the ocean to this tiny little lizard, God created them all. He made them beautiful. He made them perfect. And above all, God made us. Amen. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. The boys are clicking with their medals. <laughs> We are wonderfully made. If you knew how complex even a simple cell was, you'd realize that we didn't evolve. We had to have been created. Even goofy teenage boys got created. <laughs> so right now, you can remain seated. 
and we're going to sing This Is My Father's World. trials and tribulation. If you turn with me to John 16:33, it tells us, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. You will have suffering in this world. Be courageous. I have conquered the world. God didn't leave us by ourselves to face this world. He is always with us. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. They, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. God made us so many wonderful promises in the Bible. I read somewhere that in the good times, you should remember the, the promises. You should study them. Take them to your heart so that when the troubles come, you know them already. You have them in your heart, you have them in your mind, and you can pull them out. Because he did not leave us. Isaiah 41.10 says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold on to you with my righteous right hand. Isn't that a wonderful promise Amen. to know even though we're walking through trouble, through sadness, 
He has a right hand. We've had in the past couple of weeks, people lose their brother, sister, or another brother. In the last couple of years, people have lost their jobs. People have lost their livelihood for a while. But through it all, God was with us. Yes. Even though we didn't realize it, he never left us, he never forsook us. Praise the Lord. Three, see what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God, and so we are. Amen. Isn't it wonderful? He didn't just set the world in motion. He loves us. He calls us his children. And that to me is a marvelous thing, a wonderful thing, something it's hard to understand. How the God of the universe, how he created all the suns, all the moons, the planets, and us, loves us, and he calls us his children. We're just not those people down there. We're his people. We're his children. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by my name. I have called you by, by name. You are mine. We are his. He loved us so much that even though sin took us away from him, he made a way for us to be reconciled through him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that he so believes in him shall not perish, but never watch the night. Isn't that wonderful that he loved us that much? That he would send his Son. And those of us with children know that's not an easy thing to do. No. Know that you would send your child to die. But he did. And Jesus willingly took off his crown left the beautiful heaven and came to earth to show us God's love. So right now, to celebrate that, we're going to sing Redeemed and you can remain singing.
The Lord knows we have trials, but we know we have one hope, and we know that in the end, Jesus is coming to get us. Amen. We will not be left here. He will come and get us, and we will live forever with him in heaven. And all we have to do is believe, to have faith in Jesus, to hold on, to hold strong to our faith, and then we know that we'll be with Jesus. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. So, then he whom are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. Amen. 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 So we know that soon we will be with the Lord forever. And we will not be hurting. There won't be any more deaths. Our knees won't creak. We'll be able to see without glasses. We're able to breathe freely. And hopefully we'll see our loved ones if they have believed in Jesus too. So hold on to the faith and know that Jesus is coming to keep his children. Amen. Please stand for our final song. When he called, when he called, when he called.